close and came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Let's go, girl. Okay, girl.
one of these are. Why do you go? Don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Oh God, no! Didn't think Morning, friend. Help! Oh Christ, help! Go oh, for the love of God! Good morning. How the hell? That with was it? just beyond belief. One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, 
Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Show me some kindness. Please, you, yes, please, coin, please. Please, won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? <laughs> Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. That's what I've been hearing. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Buongiorno. Ciao, There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. 
couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice, not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Come on. I said these open folks the must gate have some and money. let my acquaintance Money, now. Yes. Hand it over. Of course. OK. Take whatever I've got. over all your money now. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. And do you want me to frisk him? Or you got this? Give me everything you There's got There's nothing on. much here. Well, I ain't playing There's nothing here. really here. There's everything, okay? You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's Sing greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now! Move! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Alright, shoot us some space, boys. We got more on the right. What's those side alleys, Arthur? The balcony, too. Some riders coming on this side. Arthur, cover our left flank. Arthur, you need to help Lenny now. Get that bastard! Arthur, coming out of the bank on the left. Ah! That bastard must have called in every cop in the city.
Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. <laughs>